Welcome back to my Let's Play for a Storm of Spears. I suppose it's time to explore this haunted manor. Hmm, a basement, eh? That could be interesting. Let's see, what we got in here? A cane, huh? Well, my best guess is that goes to this guy. I do have to ask why a cane improves your physical attack stats so much, though. Anything else down here? Nah, just some water. Why is there hay down here? Was someone trying to spend a gold thread or something? Is that the remains when they failed? They just get, got murderized and left here to rot? This place is weird. <sighs> well, I guess we should check the upstairs too while we're at it. Hmm. Spirit growth, huh? I kept my files detailing the progress of the experiment in the library. The entrance to the library is hidden south of my study. South of the study, huh? I'm guessing that's what the other upstairs leads to, but we should probably check that out as well. After all, there could be something interesting in here, maybe. Ah, uh, no, apparently not. I mean, we got these, I guess. But that stuff they just said doesn't mean jack squat. The words are twisting burrowing deep into my mind, but what does it even mean? I don't know. Man, okay. The idea on the experiment is very simple. They control the subjects, inserting into their minds any information I desire. Hmm. At first, the subjects showed signs of confusion, and some even resisted the spell. After some adjustments, it all started working exactly as intended. Gotcha. So that's what that's for, right? <sighs> Spell has been performed successfully. The subjects are behaving exactly as predicted. The only downside is that to cover such a large area, a very powerful source is required. If the spell is to be cast on a single individual, however, a simple accessory such as an amulet works perfectly. Which means we're going to have to find the source, right? Oh yeah, probably back in here. It's a bit weird we have to go read all these books all over the place. Or is it um, in his bedroom now? Because there were bookshelves in there, too. Or at least cases. Man. Oh, it's in here, gotcha. I've stored the source in a secret room. Here lies the switch to open it. Well, there's the switch, but where's the room itself at? That's the question now. Man, I really don't like having to look for stuff. Oh, there's a door here now. Okay, gotcha. This must be the source we've been reading about. The spell source this big is terrifying. The spell he has cast upon Hinder Soul is powerful indeed. Who would do such a thing? Experimenting with other people's minds? I suspect the hand of the kingdom is involved here. How can we undo the spell? Theoretically we can destroy the source, but it won't be elegant. Then let's do it. Wait, we must be careful. Any self-respecting magician wouldn't leave a source this powerful unprotected. There'll be a sentinel guarding it. Only one way to find out. Here it comes. Revenant Master, huh? Well, let's see what you got. Man, drop the war cry, I guess. Um, unless it lowers his defense, I just don't care, man. Oh, at least we got off that before, you know, our skill went off. We also had to go and dodge our attack, gosh darn it. Well, jeez. We managed to silence us, so we can't even follow up with the rest of our skills now. That just blows. Um, let's see. Put war cry on someone else. 
At least that way, if we have to beat this thing to death, it won't be too bad. Well, dang. By the time we actually get a chance to paralyze him at this point, he's gonna basically be dead. <laughs> that critical hit was potent. I guess he won't let us on uh, paralysis now. He's like, you missed. You can't have it. I won't allow it. Oh, well. I'll just beat him just death old school, then. With a sword! Yeah, I guess I actually had an excuse to equip the whole, um, block silence, um, equipment I have. Assuming I have one of those. I definitely got some other, um, status blockers. I'm not sure if silence was one of them, though. This is it. I believe so. What is that? So as the subjects may experience confusion in the recovery process, but with time everything returns to normal without them, even knowing what happened. But I guess we're done here. Wait a minute, this note is signed by Asephses. Asephses, the great wizard? I knew the kingdom was involved in this. This is sickening. The kingdom is now using mind control? I wonder who could be under such a spell. Anyway, let's go back to Hindersol and check out the villagers. I fear for their safety. Okay. Why is the source a person? Seriously. It's kind of weird. Well, a bit excessive, but whatever. Time to get out of here. Huh. I've heard there have been more people trying to stop us from leaving. They're like, what? The source is broken! Send someone to investigate immediately! But I guess everyone's too busy. Seems they're all back to normal. I don't know if I'd call them normal. They're all confused, as Cephsis predicted. Seems to remember anything that happened while they are under the spell. Only before and now, I can understand their confusion. Well, at least we freed them from the kingdom's shackles. Should we try to recruit them? I don't even think they're aware of how bad the situation is out there. I don't know if they would be of any use, to be honest. Besides from that, after all they've been through, I don't think it would be fair to even ask that of them. They seem safe here. This is the only village on the island, so let's leave them be. Eh, sounds reasonable enough to me. Now we have solved their problems, we didn't solve ours. We're still trapped on this island. Perhaps not. Well, Sessie's library found a book about the Arafe. It said something about a dragon nest nearby. A dragon nest? It could be our way out. A dragon? A real living dragon? Precisely. No need to look so alarmed, though. I'm an Arafe. Used to use them as our sky rides. He'll recognize me as his master. I think. Otherwise, I guess we'll just have to beat him into submission. You know, that's just how it goes. The book, it says, located in the east part of the island. Okay, let's do that in the morning, alright? This old man here needs his rest, and we've already saved the day, so we deserve it. I suppose that works. Probably should pick up some more stats clearing items, though. <sighs> well, that was relatively easy, if a bit time consuming. Yeah, just hang on time. I'm sure it'll get better. Gotcha. Ice ground forest. I think that's it. Northwest, huh? Uh, gotcha. Well, we got ourselves a side quest. But I'm a sucker for cash, so what can I say? Of course, these quests don't actually reward you with anything either. Well, we'll take that. 
buy a couple more of those, and those, and those, and some of these. Um, I don't need any of this stuff. I'm kind of already topped off on that. Guess we can technically go see the mayor again, too. Maybe he's nicer now. I don't know. I have my doubts, though. Ah, uh, we don't arouse anyone's suspicions by actually talking to the mayor. Well, fine, whatever. Eh, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna make my way this to the northwest. To check out this forest we couldn't get into previously. Could I fight you? Yeah. Do I want to fight you? Heck no. Why are there only like two enemies on this map? Well, as big as it is, you'd think there'd be more, you know? Okay. Well, tiny on one aspect, big on another, why not? Okay, time to move on. There doesn't seem to be anything here for me. I don't want to miss any of the tears if I can help it, since I'd like to go on that side quest so I can meet a god. And probably kill them, because that's just usually how it rolls, you know? Oh, frozen steel, huh? Okay. We'll put that. Still not seeing no tears, though. Or an elemental lore. I figured I'd run to one of those two. Huh. Is this it? This should be it. It's quite heavy. I wonder how much there is inside. Anyway, let's get back to Seymour. Uh, I guess it makes sense why there wouldn't be any tears or anything here, though. I mean, it is a side quest, so... It's an area you don't necessarily have to visit. So you could potentially bypass this and never know there's anything here to be found. Especially if you don't talk to everybody, because let's face it, in most RPGs, the people you can talk to randomly in town don't have much to say. Such as, I am air. Yeah, I love when that happens. But yeah, let's enter the town and, you know, get a reward. Didn't really do that great of a job. It left in the chest that was, you know, in the middle of nowhere, but it wasn't buried or anything. I don't know what you're going to do with all of it, but I know what we agreed you would do with some of it. Alright, here you go. Have this. Thank you. That seems a bit overly generous. There must have been, like... like 10,000 plus coins in there or something. If he gave me a 10% finder's fee. At least I assume that's how much it was. Maybe it's only 1%. There's just a ridiculous amount of gold coins in that. No wonder he doesn't know what to do with it. Oh, yeah, we already visited that. Well, next time we'll go chasing after a dragon. Until then, see ya.